I have a research team with me? Our champion, Samuel Fisher. Yeah, both Well, what did I tell you? You were right, George. This is going to make an excellent research facility for us. Yeah, we really lucked out. I still can't believe they're giving it away. Well, the owners felt the aquarium was the right entity to protect it and put it to good use. What kind of samples do you want us to look for, Dad? Well, why don't you just nose around and see what you can find? George and I are going to take a hike around the island. We'll meet you back here in about half an hour. Okay. Stick together and watch the currents. There's a sharp drop off about 100 feet offshore. Stay close in. Right. Well, there's our research lab. And of course, we'll be able to use it for accommodation if we want to stay over for a couple of days. You got the key? It's in my pocket. But uh, let's have a look around first. This fresh air is too good to pass up. <laughs> Lucky. We can conduct all kinds of studies out here, Grant. It's tremendous. We're gonna have to spend some money on that wharf, though. It looks a little ratty. George, you're getting a whole island for nothing. You're worrying about spending a couple of bucks. Well, somebody's gotta worry about it. <laughs> radio for help. We've got to get him to a hospital right away. I can't stand it! My eyes! Come on, son. I'm going to put some gauze over your eyes. I don't want to get any sunlight in there. See if Joyce can pick us up right away. Right. Calling Cogger Air. Come in, Joyce. Request emergency takeoff to the east from Harbor Air. Whiskey Papa Fox to tower. Hang on, son. It won't be much longer. 
We're gonna have to raise that barrel and find out what it was he came in contact with. I'll radio the Environmental Protection Service. They can send out a crew and get it up right away. George, try and get a sample for Donna to analyze. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm afraid he may have come in contact with some toxic material down there. Dr. Chan. Dad, what did that yellow stuff do to Jonah's eyes? We don't know yet, sweetheart. We have to be patient and wait until Dr. Kelsey lets us know. She's one of the best eye doctors in this country. Dr. Roberts? Jonah's resting now. I've applied an antibiotic that opens the pupils of the eyes to give him some relief from the pain. How serious is it? Well, the membrane that lines the eye appears to have suffered some tissue damage. I won't be able to tell how extensive it is until the inflammation subsides. Does that mean Jonah's going to go blind? Oh, it's too early to tell. But could he? Yes, it is possible. Dad. Is there anything I can do to help him? Yes, there is. We know that some form of acid was involved, but it appears there were other substances as well. It would help with the precise treatment if we knew what was in that container. I have somebody working on that right now. Good. Thanks to your quick action, I'm hoping no permanent damage occurred. I hope so. Oh, well, this is my daughter, Nicole, and this is Joyce Carter, a family friend. Can doing? we see him now? Yes, Nicole, but try not to tire him out, okay? Thank you, Dr. Kelsey. Are you coming? Um, no. I think Jonah needs to be with his family right now. I'll come in later. Hi, son. Dad? And me. Hi, Nicole. I bet I look pretty stupid, huh? So what else is new? Thanks, string bean. Are you feeling any better? I guess. Dr. Kelsey put something into my eyes to keep them from burning so much. She's a neat lady, isn't she? And the best eye doctor in the whole world, Jonah. She's gonna make everything okay. You just wait and see. I hope. I'm really scared. I don't want to be blind. You won't be, Jonah. Try not to be frightened, son. We're gonna do everything we can to lick this thing, okay? Is there anything I can do for you right now? Yeah. What? Could you please stay with me tonight? That's your will. It, remember? Oh, yeah. Those barrels. Dad, it's... it's so dark. It's the bandages, Jonah. It's just the bandages. Oh. Sure. It's just the bandages. These things take time, Jonah. You gotta have patience. Try and get some sleep now, huh? You're gonna stay? I'm with you, kid, all the way. say the organization was pretty pleased with our little operation. It's their operation, and for your sake, don't forget it. I still don't dig why there's such big bucks to be made by dumping this stuff. Because, dumb dumb, it costs mega bucks to process it legally. Well, that figures. Anyways, as I was saying, they love us. We were making them a nice little bundle by dumping this stuff in the deep blue sea. This is just a small piece of a very large pie. Hi. Did you find out what that substance was yet? Sulfuric acid, basically. Also some traces of cadmium and chromium. Great. I'll phone Dr. Kelsey at the hospital. Let her know right away. I saw Jonah this morning. He's a brave kid. He's putting on a good front. 
You know, Dr. Kelsey said it would be at least 36 hours before we found out how serious it was. Have we heard from Environmental Protection yet? Yes. They say it's a byproduct of an electroplating process. Good. That narrows it down. Yeah, here's a list of the disposal companies in this area that handle that type of waste. Well, I think I know why they chose Monk Island. There's a deep trench just offshore there. How could they miss it by 100 feet off the end of a boat, though? Well, maybe they didn't dump it from an end of a boat. Maybe they dropped it from a plane. Of course. Do any of these disposal services use aircraft? If they did, they'd have to file a flight plan. Now, that'd be easy to check out. I'll go out to the airport, and I'll call you later at the hospital. Thank you. Now we're getting somewhere. So you really think Pete Rose is going to help the Expos that much? I sure do. He's always been a winner. What was it Vince Lombardi said? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. Hello, doctor. Another doctor? She means me, kid. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Dr. Kelsey. How you feeling, son? Okay. See? Bandages off the hands. Looking good. And guess what? Dr. Kelsey has some more really good news. After I spoke to you, I applied some chloromycetin drops to Jonah's eyes. And there was some positive response to light. Isn't that great, Dad? That is good news. As for you, young man, stop flirting with all those nurses. Some of them aren't as cute as their voices make them out to be. I'll drop in later to see how you're doing. Be right back, kids. Now, back to the sports page. Let me have a piece of pizza before you eat I uh, don't want to create any false hopes, Dr. Roberts. I want you to know exactly where we stand. And that's what I want to hear, Dr. Kelsey. As you know, with any acidic burns to the eyes, the chance of blindness is very strong. I'll let the chloromycetin soak throughout the night and in the morning remove his bandages. Will we know for sure then, one way or the other? If there's any permanent damage, yes. Thanks for your honesty, Dr. Kelsey. Is there anything I could be doing for him right now? If you're a religious man, you might say a prayer or two. I've been doing that, Doctor, since the moment this nightmare first began. Well, hi, Dad. Oh, Joyce called, and she wants you to meet her at Coastal Cargo at 2 o'clock. It's very important. Okay, anything else? Mm, nothing. Jonah wants more pizza as usual, though. You ate almost all of it. I only got two pieces. Three. One more pizza coming up. I shall return. And don't forget the double pepperoni. Right. You seem in pretty good spirits. Yeah. Dad. You were talking to Dr. Kelsey out there, weren't you? Yeah. She said she's going to take your bandages off first thing in the morning. Is that all she said? Pretty much. Dad, please. I want you to tell me the truth, okay? Dad? <clears throat> okay, son. You know that was acid that got into your eyes. We don't honestly know what's going to happen. But Dr. Kelsey has hope. And I have hope. And you have to have hope too, son. I don't want hope. I want to know if I'm going to be able to see. I know the waiting's hard. But whatever happens, Jonah, we're going to get through this thing together. But what if she takes off the bandages and I'm blind? How am I going to be able to live if I can't see? Got a time sheet for me to fill out? What you got? This is the only commercial aircraft service around here that handles electroplate and waste. Good work. Let's go see what we can find out. Hi. After
afternoon. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm uh, Joyce Carter from Harbor Air, and this is Dr. Grant Roberts from the Aquarium. How do you do? What can I do for you? Hopefully you can answer some questions. You handle electroplating wastes, right? If you have a permit and can pay the price, uh-huh. Have you ever heard of Monk Island? Yeah, what about it? Well, I was wondering if any of your planes have flown over in the past uh, week or two. No, no reason to. Then you wouldn't mind us taking a look at your flight book? That's a pretty unusual request. Well, it's a pretty unusual circumstance. My son may lose his sight because somebody's been dumping illegal toxic waste in the water near that island. Not this firm, Dr. Roberts. Everything we do is strictly legal, all above board, and I have the records to prove it. Well, then you wouldn't mind us taking a look at your records? Sure. But you're wasting your time. See you later, Regan. Okay. I'm afraid you're out of luck, Dr. Roberts. Our only contract last week was with Riverside Waste Disposal to deliver 80 barrels of the toxic waste dump, all legal and proper. Were they all delivered legal and proper? Here's the well, file you wanted. We made three flights last week, 20 barrels each shipment. By my arithmetic, that makes only 60 barrels. I guess we got 20 to go. Does the bill of lading specify the barrel's contents? Has to. Heavy metals and sulfuric acid. You have receipts for those? Sure. Funny. Reynolds must have forgotten to attach her. Who's Reynolds? The pilot. The simmer just left. Thank you. I don't think the boss is very happy now, Reynolds. But we're the ones going to be real miserable if we get busted. Here, Susan, grab these. we got to get rid of the rest of that shipment. I've already shipped the barrels down to Pier 15. I'll dump them in the ocean first thing in the morning. We dump them now, as soon as we get rid of these. This is the place. We're lucky those barrels will still be inside. No. Not a barrel in sight. We've already dumped that last 20 barrels. We're not going to be able to prove anything. Grant! That's the same car that tried to run us down! We gotta stop that boat before it gets out to sea and they dump that stuff. I'll radio the police. I'm gonna try and move in a little closer. Okay. I'll meet them at the port entry and show them the way. This is Joyce Carter calling police dispatch. Come in, please. Come on, guys, speed it up. Speed it up. If you hadn't missed that trench, none of this would have happened. Hey, man, I'd like to see you try and fly a chopper and hit a bullseye from the air. It ain't easy. Protection is on its way. Good. We'll introduce them to some real garbage. Okay, Jonah. 
Now, when I remove the bandages, I want you to wait a couple seconds, then blink a few times and open your eyes slowly, okay? Isn't that the shirt we gave you for Father's Day last year? Don't ever scare me like that again, okay? So, Jonah, tell me the truth. How old did you really think I was? 31. I was right, too, wasn't I? He's got 20 20 vision. There's somebody in here who'd like to see you all now. Dr. Bentley Smith, your reception, please. Dr. Bentley Smith. Hi. All I can say is, you're all sure a sight for sore eyes. Oh, and they're going to be sore for a couple of weeks. You're going to have to wear sunglasses till the irritation clears up. Don't worry about it, Jonah. We'll get you some real cool shades. You'll be in the height of fashion. Dad told me what all of you did to help. Thanks. That goes for me, too. You all know that. Thank you. See you in a couple weeks. you're coming out to see Jonah. I didn't think there were any doctors left who made house calls anymore. Oh, I don't mind at all. In fact, I enjoy getting out of the hospital every now and then. What was that? <laughs> it's a musical honor. We adopted it about three months ago. Oh, plays the piano better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kids. Hey! Is it Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Dr. Kelsey. Hi. 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 Hi, Nicole. So, how's my favorite patient? Great. You've been keeping up with the expos? Always. Like they say in showbiz, next time, eh? Yeah, right. <laughs> Wrong. Next season, the Dodgers are going to be the champs. Oh, I thought you were an expo fan too, Nicole. Ah, uh, she likes whoever has the cutest ball players. She doesn't even know anything about the game. You want to make a bet? I know what a knuckleball is, and you're just about to be brushed back with my version of one. Ooh, scary, scary. <laughs> hey, kids. As you can see, Jonah's feeling a lot better. Dr. Kelsey came by to examine your eyes, Jonah, not to get a taste of our happy family life. I have three children of my own. Believe me, I know all about happy homes. But let's have a look at those eyes, Jonah. Have they been bothering you? Not at all. Except when it comes time for him to study, then he can't see a thing. Mm. Oh. Well, the inflammation is completely gone. Let's see how well you can read an eye chart. Now, Jonah, I want you to cover your right eye and read this bottom line for me. P-E-Z-O-L-C-F-T-D. Good. Now cover your left eye and read the same line backwards. D-T-F-C-L-O-Z-E-P. Perfect. Your eyes are just fine, Jonah. In fact, you've got 20-20 vision. You know what that means. Uh, yeah, no more excuses about not hitting the books. And you can get rid of those silly glasses. Are you kidding? These have made me the biggest hit at school since Billy O'Brien got stung by a bee and his ear swelled out three times its normal size. You like them, don't you, Dr. Kelsey? Well, uh, they're very unusual. We bought Dad a pair, too. He doesn't wear them. Would you like to be seen in public wearing these? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I'd rather take my chances with a bee. <laughs> so would I. Thank you.